You are playing the role of the King of Castile, and you are having rather a bad day. The high cost of maintaining an army has entirely depleted your treasury, and your soldiers have begun to desert. You can see it now, a Muslim invasion surging over your lands. You might reach out to your neighbors for assistance, but alas, your character fervently believes himself possessed by the devil. This has made forging alliances, well, somewhat of a challenge. Rumor has it that your brother, the King of Lyon, is even plotting against you. But your fool of a spymaster has nothing useful to report. The swine's tongue has grown conveniently still ever since you started sleeping with his wife. As the year draws to a close, you find yourself friendless, penniless, possessed, and entirely in the dark, with the Moors sharpening their weapons on your borders in a word, doomed. Or are you? A message arrives. The Pope, in recognition of your piety, has sent a single half-empty coin purse to aid you in your struggle against the Muslims. With the ink still wet on your gracious response, you make excellent use of the funds, sending an assassin to call upon the King of Lyon, your dear brother. This will destroy your reputation, of course, or rather it would do were you not already known to be under the devil's sway. Demonic possession does have its perks. The assassination succeeds, and not only have you escaped your brother's mysterious plot, but as his elder you inherit all of Lyon, along with his far more competent spy master. Your brother's armies, now your own, are soon marching south, striking preemptively against your good Muslim neighbors, with your former spy master on the front lines, of course. And this is just one cunning ploy in Crusader Kings 2, a grand strategy game which offers an entire continent's worth of political intrigue.